Hi, I'm Sam Patterson from my paperless classroom. And I was never one for live action role playing. In college, I would kind of laugh at the group in the quad that was battling with their cardboard armor, the SCA, Students for Creative Anachronisms, I believe. Um, so I didn't come to this project of building cardboard armor with love or an experience of cardboard armor building. Um, I want my third graders to build an awesome arcade machine later in the year. To get to that point, I need to build some skills. I'm trying to increase their cardboard building skills, and that would be simple if it were the only goal. We could have them do a regular set of exercises and do this, do this, do this kind of step-by-step -step tutorial things about cardboard building, and that'd be done. But we're always operating with multiple goals. Um, I believe that student choice is best supported in an environment that's rich with valid goals. That gives me choice when assessing. So if I'm trying to do eight different things in a long sequence of classes, when I ask myself, is that student successful? I can look at eight different factors to really help me define and figure out what success was for that student or what this experience was for that student. I also, but I need the third graders to get much better at group work also. And they need design and redesign experience. So we need to keep putting them through this process. And I was looking for an abstract element to kind of put in the mix. I knew I was going to have some building. It was going to be group. There was going to be this. And by this point, I'd pretty much decided on armor. But... I needed some additional element that would help influence their design and complicate their decisions. And when I talked to my curriculum director about this, she suggested putting in the points of pride, which is our character education program. And I was all for it, especially since I didn't actually know what that would look like. At that point, the collaboration helped me to reach an idea that I didn't already have fully formed. And this is really important in designing, engaging learning experiences is you get it to the point where there's an opportunity for the kids to do something beyond what you can imagine. So this makes the entire setup more flexible because it counteracts me shaping their work through my expectations. So it creates a much fuller uh, conversation. With that set up, I made the arrangements to visit the librarian on the first day to look at our armor resources. They did that in groups. It was amazing. The kids took notes. They took pictures. They were gathering inspiration. This ended up being a total of, well, I think it's going to be five classes. Right now, we're going into the fourth class this week. But we had a class of research, a class of planning, a class of building, another class of building, and then we're going to have a final class of sharing and documentation, trying to get that all set up. I think there's going to have to be some sort of a fashion show too. But this process of having them work in groups of three, design a suit of armor, create it, refine it, display it, uh, there's going to be over seven hours worth of classes in here. I have 90-minute classes, and this is going to take five of them. Uh, it's a lot of time. We have the luxury of time in our class setup, and that's what it takes to really help the students engage the complexity of real problems. They need time to talk, they need time to plan, they need time to build. So, cardboard armor, it's super great for my group because we've built it with all of their specific needs in mind. And I can tell that it's a good assignment because other kids walk in the room and they're like, when are we doing that? So the third grade activity is causing FOMO in the higher grades. And now I have to up my game there to give them something. But, you know, they're all learning different things. And it's just the cardboard armor construction, frankly, it looks really cool. So that's why we leverage it to do that super hard group work stuff. I'm Sam Patterson from My Paperless Classroom. Thanks for tuning in for this cardboard armor conversation. Looking forward to sharing more with you every week on Tuesdays. Here's my buddy Ema. She's looking good right there.